I'm here with another seafood recipe. This one is extremely easy to make but will be the winner in the dining table. Let's see how to make the Jaffna style cuttlefish curry. These are the ingredients needed. As usual, I've given it in the description as well. You can cut the squid into squares or rectangles. I just cut it into rings this time. We have to heat a pan, roast some fennel seeds and make it into a powder which we'll be using for the curry later. You can even do this step while the curry is getting cooked. Or you can do this in bulk on a separate day and store it in an airtight container for later use. I'm just going to make a little batch because I already have something done and stored. Make sure to keep the pan in low heat and keep on stirring otherwise some parts of the seed would become brown and burnt that will affect the taste of the curry a lot. As soon as you get some good fragrance from the fennel seeds, switch off the stuff and immediately transfer to a container that's in the room temperature. This one spoon of fennel seeds took around 1 minute and 45 seconds for me. Make a powder out of it. You can even use dry grinder if you are making it in bulk. Add the cuttlefish into the pan that you are going to cook that in. Add the fennel seed and then the garlic. Don't reduce the amount of garlic because it's really going to influence the taste and fragrance. You can even add a little bit more if you want. But make sure not to add too much of fenugreek seeds as I told in the prawns video that might give a bitter taste. Add some salt. and half of the chilli powder, reserving half for later. Add the onions and green chilies. Put it on stove and add about half cup of water. Mix everything really well. Switch on the stove, cover the pot and let it cook for about 10 to 15 minutes. In about 10 to 15 minutes, just open it and check the water level. It looks ok for me so I'm just gonna stir it. Add the rest of the chilli powder. This is the Jaffna curry powder that I'm using because it's a Jaffna recipe. The amount merely depends on what you want. Add the tamarind paste. If you are not sure of the concentration just start with a little amount. This has to be similar to the prawn curry we did earlier. You have to feel the sourness but it shouldn't be overtaking the entire taste of the curry. So I'm starting with 1 teaspoon. Mix everything well. It's time to add the coconut milk. I'm using about 10 spoons of coconut cream. I'll be mixing a little bit of water after this to make it equivalent to the amount of coconut milk I've given in the list of ingredients. Again give everything a good stir. And let it cook for about 10 to 15 minutes. No need to close the lid at this time. There's no hard and fast rule in this like baking. So you can keep on testing the taste and add the ingredients as you wish. I felt like I need some more tamarind so I'm adding a little bit more tamarind. Because of that I'm adding a little bit of salt too. It has been about 12 to 13 minutes. Now we can add the fennel seed powder which we made earlier. For this amount of cuttlefish which is 500 grams, we need only about 1 teaspoon of this. You can reserve the rest for later use. Add the curry leaves. Give everything a good stir and let it cook for about 2 minutes and then you can switch off the stove. After switching off the stove, I usually close the lid and let it sit there in the same pot for some time so the gravy thickens a little bit more. This is how the curry looks like. It's dark, aromatic and so delicious. It goes well with yellow rice, normal rice and curry and any Sri Lankan mains. Do try this and let me know if you like it. If you haven't already subscribed to this channel, do subscribe, give a thumbs up for this video and share with your friends.